What's up, everybody? Let's go. We're talking about water today. All right, this is a tabletop air to water generator with purification. So there are no apps, no Wi Fi, no Bluetooth connectivity. You just plug and drink. Super simple. It's bigger than your coffee machine, but related to other products in this category, this is actually one of the smallest available on the market. So it's uh, quite innovative in terms of the technology that's built in here. It's portable, so it can be in your home, your office, hotels, hospitals, airports, ships, uh, cars, islands, if there's disaster relief, uh, any area or place or situation where there's a high demand for clean drinking water uh, or a shortage. Uh, so for example, when I have guests over, right, I have my filter, everybody gets a glass, now that filter's empty. I go fill it up from the tap and now we're waiting drip by drip, waiting for the water. Uh, so that's not ideal. So this would be great, right? Uh, because then you also have plastic bottled water. Okay, so I can go get a case of plastic bottled water. I hope everybody recycles them the right way. We all know that doesn't happen. We're going to end up with pla microplastics in the ocean as we have been. Um, you know, it ends up in the ocean, in the fish. Uh, they've even found microplastic in breast milk. Uh, so we want to kind of stay away from the plastics and just get as good water as we can from the best source as possible. The tap water is a bit iffy, right, in many places. So that's why a lot of people go for, you know, the plastic bottled water. Uh, but I think this is a good alternative to, you know, all of those things. So with that said, let's look at this unit. Okay, so this is the A10 Atmospheric Water Generator by Hurain Nanotech. Okay, and there's just a very simple few buttons. First thing we're going to do is just turn it on, okay. Uh, now, where do you want to place this? You want to place this on your countertop or wherever you're going to put it, but you need to have it eight inches away from the wall to allow for good circulation, right? Because this all works off airflow. Air goes in, water comes out. So you want to have good circulation, good airflow. So once you have it on, it's really simple. It's plug and play. So you just turn it on, you put your cup under the dispenser, you press dispense, and then you get water coming out. Right, and then you hit it again to stop, and then you sip and relax. Crisp, delicious, clean filtered water. So that's great. So how does it actually create the water? How does the tech work, All right? What is the innovation? All right, so it starts with the air, right? Sucking the air in and purifying the air with a four stage filter, okay? And then, the next part is the condenser kicks in and now it's going to extract the moisture uh, and the water from the air. And then that water is going to go through a six stage filter system and UVC sterilization. You're going to have a post activated carbon stage. That's for improving taste. You're going to have ultrafiltration UF to remove particles as small as 0.01 microns. Then you're going to have a carbon block filter. And then after that, as you're, it's coming out, you get it with the UVC uh, light as well. So then you end up with a full tank full of water and it's gone through all of this filtration. Uh, and now on top of this, okay, the tech, right? So there are algorithms here, proprietary tech and algorithms that continuously monitor and safely produce the clean drinking water under non-standard and non-stable temperature and humidity conditions. So whether you're in the desert one day and then in my room the next day, right, this thing can handle all of that and under any sort of mix of conditions. The computer knows how to process all the different elements to work it. Um, so there's a bunch of protective measures that ensure that if the machine was to fail, that you could actually basically diagnose and understand what's going on and fix it in a, in a timely manner. Now, the other thing you need to know about this, uh, which is really cool, is this is kind of removable. So I have a lot of, you know, reusable water bottles, big thermoses that I use, and they don't fit from here to here. They're actually much taller. So I have to like angle it in. Well, you know, you could just take this off and fill up right underneath it. So I actually thought that was like a really cool feature uh, and well, well thought out, right? Especially going against the whole plastic thing and taking this water to go. 
So the other really interesting thing is, is that it has an independent internal water circulation system. So every four hours, the tank will sterilize and filter the water internally uh, for three minutes to ensure that the water is always stay fresh and hasn't deteriorated, right? You don't want just a still puddle of water sitting in this, right? So this is gonna circulate it, even if you don't drink from it every four hours to keep it all fresh. Now, you might be able to hear it. That's the water production going on right now. I'm gonna turn it off just for the sake of the sound, okay? But you can still use it, it's still on, right? So now I'm not creating any more water, but I could still use the water that I have in the tank. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, the first time you use it, you wanna dump all of the water out. You wanna get all the water out and just clean the lines, right? All the lines and hoses. So just flush it out, get all the water, dump it, don't drink it the first time. I already did that, that's why I'm drinking it, okay? So now once you've done that, now you're just in business. Uh, and you just gotta worry about the environment, make sure that you have good humidity, good airflow. Uh, so this is 10 inches wide, it's 14 and a half inches long, and height, it's 17 and a half inches high. In terms of electricity, power usage, you're going to be at 245 watts of total power usage. All right, so obviously there's water running in and out and through this thing, so it's waterproof. Uh, IPX0 is its water uh, rating, waterproof rating, okay? Now, this can work in a lot of different environments. Maybe not Antarctica or somewhere super freezing because the water needs to be liquid, right? If this is in sub-zero temperatures, the whole thing is gonna freeze over. So from 41 degrees to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you're good to go, right? Now, the most important element is actually the humidity. That's gonna be the main deciding factor of the water production efficiency. So ideally you have more than 35% humidity, uh, you know, ambient humidity in the room that this is in. So you'll be able to collect, you know, more moisture in the air with the higher humidity. So that's a, that's a big factor. So the more humidity, the better the production. Really simple equation there. Um, so what if you're in an environment that has low humidity, like right now, um, this machine is reading me 52% humidity, so that's pretty good. But what if I was at just 30? Well, my water production would be super slow. Uh, very, very little water production would be happening in that scenario. Uh, so that's just the natural case of things, right? There's nothing wrong with the machine for not being able to produce water under 35%. That's just how it is. So when you are in a good environment and it's running and it's pumping, it's gonna just suck air in and it's gonna turn it into water. You're gonna fill up a tank in here. It's a five liter tank that you can fill up in this machine. And if you're in the right setting, which is uh, the ideal setting, it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit with 80% humidity. If you're in that setting, you will create 10 liters of water per day. All right, uh, so that's five big two liter Coke jugs, right? For anybody that's a soda person that needs to drink water. All right, that's big five two liter jugs, okay? So <clears throat> the water efficiency, it can be anywhere from five to three, uh, from three to five liters of water production per kilowatt hour of power. Uh, so that's a fair trade-off. You know, you're not paying a crazy amount in energy costs to produce the water, all right? Um, and if you are in a low humidity environment, I wouldn't suggest getting a humidifier to feed the air to feed your water generator. That's counterproductive. Um, but yeah, so this is the unit here. It's very simple to use. Uh, the display and the indicators are very simple. They're touch sensitive, so you turn it on. You only have a few buttons. This one here is to turn on the water generation or turn it off. Um, and then this is obviously the power button. You saw the dispense button. And then these two here, these are the filter reset buttons. So whenever it tells you need to change out the air filter or change out the water filters, these will you know, activate for you and then you just press it to let the machine know that you actually reset them and change them out. Then you have some uh, filter status indicators and some other indicators. So you'll see that when I'm dispensing, you see this UV light 
turn on indicator. So that's how you know that it's getting sanitized with UV as it's dispensing also. Uh, so that's really cool. I like that there's no crazy screens, buttons, apps. It's just super simple. So anybody at any age can use this without any difficulty. Uh, so that's great. And then you have some other indicators here. You have some temperatures and the humidity level. So you have two temperatures. So one of them is for the room temperature and the other one is the water temperature, right? So the water temperature is this main one. So the water I'm drinking is 16 degrees Celsius while the room temperature is 19 degrees Celsius in the room. So that's what the display means. Those are all the different indicators. If you think this is cool, make sure you subscribe, but also go to HeraneNanotech.com and check this out, okay? HeraneNanotech.com, you'll see the price there. It's not available, it's not out right now. This video, you might be watching before the it is out, but I'll make sure that we have the description updated with the links and the prices and everything you need to know to get your hands on it if you think this can help you out. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Peter Salib, signing out, take care.